Greetings from Mickey Grass. This is my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in Master Mode. Last time, we got a map of the Dueling Peaks through the Dueling Peaks Tower. This time, we're going to go and see the shrine. Or, well, you'll see. On, on the top of the Dueling Peaks. By the way, it's raining. So... So climbing is a lot harder. That didn't go very well. Let's see. Actually, I might just want to do... Um, I might just want to wait out the rain. Which isn't as boring as you'd think because there's something that can make it a lot faster. Oh, I don't... Well, if I had firewood, then I could, um... Then I could wait out the the rain by sitting by a campfire which is a very useful thing you can sit until morning morning noon or night and yeah hey uh i think it might just be worth my while to try and get some firewood I oh god Ugh. Duh. all these enemies there's one hits man Yeah, there's a shrine over there, and then there's a shrine all the way off in the distance over there. Um, what should I do? I think I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna steal from these guys. Uh, let's drop, oh I can't because I'm in the air. I think... I think the best course of action is to drop all of my, is to drop three pieces of my equipment, not all of my equipment, um, so that I can steal from these dudes, and then I'll get back my stuff after I kill these dudes. Unless them just hitting me with their bare, bare hands is also a one hit. Oh god. Got it! <laughs> oh no, but there's a, they have a broadsword. That's not a good. And they can also throw stones. Because they don't live in a glass house. I don't know why I decided to say that. <clears throat> okay.
Headshots are critical hits, so that'll deal... Okay, that's not a one hit, but it's a two hit. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. That was cool, but I'm not gonna bother. So I think I'm just gonna try to get some firewood and then ride out the storm on the top of this. Ooh. Actually, that one might not be breakable. It might be, but I don't know. Yeah, no, it's not. Also, while it's raining, it's a lot easier to sneak around. See, look, they're not even seeing me. Boom. <coughs> that didn't even kill them. That's fine. Can't even climb on top of here. <coughs> but I think what I can do is be smart about this. Oh, I can't just. Oh. I just dropped right into enemy territory. Oh. Shoot, this is a problem. Did he just throw an entire boulder at me? I think. Oh god. Okay, you know what? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Abort, abort, abort. Oh, it's a <laughs> he just hit him. Oh god, wait, how did that miss me? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... <sighs> this is hard, man. This is a stealth mission. Seems to be more alert too. I'm gonna see if I can get on top of there again. Okay, good.
we'll just take this. Also, I love me walking alerts the who are who are separated from me by a stone by a stone wall. Yet they notice nothing when I kick open a metal chest. <laughs> Oh, I guess the storm's over, so that's good, but... There's just two ambers, dang it. Oh, but there is a chest over there. I don't know if I want to get that, though. What I do want to definitely get is these, this armored carp. I mean, that's not what I was going for, but that's also good. That's, that's a defense buff. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> they noticed me. I was gonna see if I could get whatever was in those metal crates, but... Because that was a lot of metal crates. But... Uh, not worth possibly more time dying. That was kind of a ripoff, though. <laughs> it's just amber. But now that the storm's cleared, we can get back over I would like your meat Actually, let's go ahead and uh, cut that out. Uh, I mean, I don't really cut anything out. I should sometimes, but I haven't. I haven't had to. So I've been through here because there's a because I had a failed recording of this. So I've been through here before. And that big boulder that is um it's something all right. It's a boss. This is a stone talus. Luckily, I was able to get on top of it. And basically, how you how you beat it is you attack the ore on top of it. Hey! It knocked me off. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. I gotta get up. How I've found... What I find to be the best way to attack this guy... Oh, he's regening. And also hitting me. I... God. No, 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 That is... By the way, this is A-plus music. I don't know if that really makes any sense, but... Oh god. I will take that luminous stone too. <laughs> nice pace, pace breaker. But by the way, this is a senior um, stone talus. Not all not all taluses have like these pre have these um prefixes, I mean suffixes, I guess in this case. But this one has it because it um because it's has to do with a I believe a shrine quest. Um, when you kill them, they drop a bunch of ore. This one was a ripoff and didn't give me any ore, and it didn't give me any of the valuable ore. Do we even? Do I even have any of the valuable ore? 
No, I do not. But hopefully we'll run into some of that in due time. Also, I don't think that was really worth it, but it gave me a Chickaloo tree knot. Which, are, which is not something I've had before. Also, why does it use up an arrow if you shoot like a tiny bird? Oh, I thought it was raining again. Wait, is it raining again? It is raining again. Oh, yeah, it's not raining down here. What the? Does it start to rain as I go up? Because that is a jerk move, if so. It does! It starts to rain as I go... That is a jerk move! Hey. Oops. Let's take that raw meat. I mean, that's a handy trick. If you just keep on pressing B, because it'll let you walk up a certain distance before it makes you climb. But you can exploit that by just continuously pressing B when you start climbing. Also, there are birds up there. Those birds actually mean something. Dang it. Um, so birds, if you see birds circling, apparently that means there's a shrine there. I haven't been able to confirm this, but... I mean, that, seem, that seems like something that may... That seem... That makes sense. So I... I'd imagine it, it's true. I have not been able to confirm it, but there are birds circling a shrine up there. You may be thinking, well, I went up the wrong... Um, I went up the wrong peak. No, I did not. Because, well, first of all, because this. There's a Korok here. Have we, ever, have we, have we encountered a Korok under a rock? Well, if not, there's, you can do this. You can just plop the rock back on it. Anyway. There are two shrines here. And they're actually connected. The Shivanath Shrine. Huvanath? Shivanath. That was a weird and weird joke, but anyway. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, their, their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest of failure you will depart. Alright. So, what you want to do is you want to take this elevator. And then, line it up correctly. Press the square button on your left Joy-Con to take a capture or a screen cap. And then depart.
Ah! So we have this ore. It's rare ore. And it drops Topaz, the least valuable of the rare ores, Ruby, the most valuable, and it also can drop Flint, Amber, Luminous Stone, those types of things. Oh, oops, I think I accidentally destroyed one of the Flints. Let's just climb all the way back up here. Also, look at all the places we could go. Ooh. That was a headshot. I didn't even realize it was tracking headshots for goats. Hmm. I wonder if this... I wonder if we can get up. From here. I think if anything it'll be close. Ah, frick. Ouch. And we're right back where we started. Um, there are ledges, but I don't think we want to do that. I think what we want to do instead is maybe go over here. Also, wait, does that mean... Yeah, so we don't have our rare ore anymore. I think it's fine. It won't be useful until... Uh, I'm actually looking off in the distance for something. Eh. But it won't be useful until we actually find a civilization. Or actually, no, we did. We sold, we sold stuff to the dude. But it won't be useful... Unless we find that dude again, or we, um, or we find another dude who is willing to buy stuff from us. Oh yeah, that's why we don't have the ruby. It's been, a, it's been a day since I have, since I recorded stuff, so it's... Forgive me if I'm a little hazy on what we've went over, of, on what we've gone over since then. Yeah, you want to make sure you can. Do you want to stop in all the places that you can? Also do that anywhere that you can.
Hey. Oh, we don't have a, uh, we don't have an apple. Well, that's another type of Korok puzzle. Aye. Well, that'll fuse him in time. Also, because of my failed recording, I know the solution to this shrine without having to do the screen cap trick. But I do want to screen cap this one because I did not get to that point because I realized that it was not recording. Now, Oh, wait. Wah, wah. Did I do this in... Did I do this reverse? Oh, that's not gonna roll in. I thought it was going to roll in, and I could actually... Oh, it is going to roll in there, okay. There we go. Let's just head on back to the other shrine so we can get that done, and then that'll be the end of the episode. Sorry that I spent a lot of time on this episode just trying to get the two Ambers from the camp, but... I think it was at least a little bit enjoyable. So, now, you can also see what games I'm playing. Um, actually, no, it's the wrong one. Just go to Album. As you can see, I already have pictures from my first and second times trying to play this. These, this, is, from my, um, this is from my personal playthrough. So now we can see, okay, I got it. Okay. 
Okay, but why is the camera move like a few inches just to get a just to get a view of the camera? I mean, a view of the door. All right, and that is our third spirit orb aside from the ones we got on the Great Plateau. And with that, I'm going to end off the episode. Next time, we'll continue our journey to Kakariko Village and hopefully find a few more shrines on the way. This has been EK Grass.